first crab on. Yeah, baby. Here we go. Woo. Oh, big crab. Big male. Just like that. One down, nine more to go. All right. I think that guy was easily six and a half, maybe even seven. We'll measure him in a bit. That's when I switched out to my eight ounce uh, snare. Actually, it might even be 10 ounce because my six ounce is just being thrown around. So that tells me that they're deeper and uh, they don't like the snare moving. So we're gonna add another weight to my other one. Meanwhile, let's get this one back in because this is the one that's catching crab. I'm gonna Frankenstein two snares together. So I build these what I call cyber snares um, into five and six ounce variations, but these six ounces are getting pushed around like crazy. So when I switched it up to my eight ounce or maybe even nine ounce, uh, I caught that big keeper male. So I'm gonna pull um, this six ounce weight, stuff it in this five ounce one, and uh, hopefully I can get my second snare to stick a little better and double my chances of catching more crap. I'm gonna pull the leader line through this bank weight. This is just a flat bank weight that you use for cat fishing or you know river fishing and these are perfect for this style snare because it sits nice and flat at the bottom of the cage which is where you want the weight to be. So all I'm going to do is lay it into the snare and pile the bait on top of it so I'm, you know it's less room for bait but it really doesn't take too much bait if you're checking your snares often enough. Um, it's all about keeping your snare planted. So with that extra weight in there, should keep it planted. Let's see if I can catch crab number two. Okay, caught this guy off camera. Big healthy male. This is like a jumbo and look at that. Greedy guy had an anchovy sticking out of his mouth. Uh, and uh, there's some squid left, but man, he inhaled that anchovy. So I'm out of anchovies. I've got chicken and squid combo left. Hopefully uh, the remaining eight crabs I'm targeting are looking for that. So two in the bucket, eight more to go. All right, second to last cast of 2019. Only got three cabs in the bucket. I actually caught a third one, but I didn't uh, film it because I was too far from this camera. So the swell is coming up, the tide's coming in, and it's just getting harder and harder. So last day, my license is valid. Last day of the year. Hopefully we can get one more in the bucket. Four won't be too bad, but I'll take three. Well, I only caught three, not the 10 I was hoping. So I came seven short of the limit that I was targeting for the day. And when you don't have enough crab to feed the family, it's fun to actually patronize places like this. This is the Half Moon Bay Fish Market, a well-known spot for local seafood fare that's caught you know, right off the shores of Half Moon Bay. And actually, I'm pretty happy to come to places like this. This place has all the crab that I target, um, but at the commercial level. And because it's a season, because we're near at the beginning of the season, the crab here right now happens to be excellent. You'll find uh, males with at least seven inch backs are all thick they're all heavy and they're all super tasty so um, not only are they great but they're actually fairly priced uh, because of their proximity to the coast and because of um, you know the ties that they have with the commercial guys the pricing here is as good as it gets so if you have a chance definitely patronize them that's what we're gonna do today let's see what kind of inventory they have and let's see what kind of meat they're gonna help me put on the table Six, right? Uh, six? Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, we're going straight to the house. Okay, I'll double back. Cool. Okay. Hmm. Anything else, guys? Is it? Okay, we are 147.44. Okay. <laughs> there we go. We're in the hot tub now, bro. Are they in there? <laughs> So we have all six crabs steaming away in here. Cool tip, if you don't have the time to steam them or if you can't wait and you want them cooked, so when you get home you can enjoy them right away, the Half Moon Bay Fish Market will steam them for you. It takes about 30 minutes to do all six in a big container like this. Go patronize uh, the downtown area or just take a walk and uh, you know check out what Half Moon Bay has to offer. And uh, while you do that, the Half Moon Bay Fish Market will gladly steam them at a cost of zero for you. Nice beast. Yeah. Look at that big guy. Nice big ones too. Yeah. Oh, jumbo, jumbo. Yeah. 
So jumbo is one that's over seven inches, right? Uh, jumbo is actually a two pound average one. Two pound so they're average. From two up to maybe two and three quarters. Okay. So that's the jumbo classification right there. Exactly. Yeah. All right. There you go. Nice, and these are all caught uh, out of Half Moon Bay, right? From the commercial guys? Yeah, so we got them this morning. We're gonna get some more about maybe four o'clock, 500 more pounds. 500 pounds? Yeah, because wow. we're gonna make some crampings. Wow, awesome. How, about how many pounds do you uh, sell per day, you think? Yesterday we sold about a thousand pounds. You sell a thousand pounds? Wow. A lot of orders for uh, crampings or uh, for the uh, holidays. That's awesome. Yeah, this is the place to go, you guys. I'm telling you, Half Moon Bay Fish Market. Please patronize. I've been coming to this place ever since I was a kid. You should too. There we go. <laughs> there you go. My name is Hector, guys. Hector? Yeah. All right, Hector. look out for Hector. All right, we've got our three crabs, and I've actually kept them in a little bucket overnight. And what I use to keep them aerated is a little aquarium filter. Look at that. It's for a fish tank. Uh, I do have the battery-operated ones, but why burn a battery when I could use one uh, plugged into the wall and uh, keep these guys healthy and happy overnight. Yes, we have our own Myers lemon tree. Yeah. And here we have a special ish with fish crab, a crab I save for myself because you gotta have it fresh, whole, uncleaned to complement the food that my mom and dad and everyone contributed to making. So I caught three, bought seven. You know what? I'll take what I can get. So thanks again to Half Moon Bay Fish Market for having a fresh stock on demand. And uh, you know what? We're gonna go grub. Happy New Year's to you and your fam and from the rest of my family. Happy New Year! Let's eat! Let's eat! <laughs>